Hi guys, um, I'm Gina Vasquez and my husband Mark and we're, welcome to our channel. If you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe, uh, like, comment, and share this video. And don't forget to turn on your notification bell so that it alerts you every time that we come on. So I hope everybody's having a, <clears throat> a blessed day, that you guys had a blessed weekend. We want to talk about yesterday. We had an amazing blessed day yesterday at the Arte de Barrio in Coachella. Um, first of all, I want to thank Yaya and Ruben. Yes. Yaya and Ruben Gonzalez. Gonzalez because um, thank you because this opportunity that you gave us, you know, to... Uh, be a part of the Arte de Barrio. You know, you guys are always, you know, doing for the community. You guys are amazing people. And, you know, we, we're, we're honored that we were there, you know. Yeah. They're very well known in the community, this family that well, she's talking about. And um, they do a lot for a lot of people, rich, poor. Um, it doesn't matter. These people are, are tied in with uh, the Coachella Fest. They own the ranch that the after party is held at after Coachella. So when the party when the party ends at Coachella, it picks up at the ranch, and it's been going on for years. And all the stars and all the all the uh, artists that don't perform there go to go to their ranch. And Ruben's brother is running for office right now. Um, he, he's in he's he's a, a politician and uh, he's running right now as we speak and so was the mayor the mayor the yeah. mayor of coachella was there and uh he came up to the booth huh yeah and he he provided the barbecue <clears throat> chicken and uh um he yeah he was there and he came up to the booth to yeah, talk to talk to yeah. me they were and, they're very humble nice yeah, you know people yeah. that they went to every there were 10 there were like 10 like nine ten booths and they went to every single one of them and, and, and you know, um, gave their thank yous and, you know, that's, and I like but, that, you know, yeah. about But, but what was that. I most excited about when he was talking to me, the mayor, what, what he mentioned? Oh, about the, about the thermal boxing. Yeah, about the gym. Yeah. He said, congratulations uh, with your son and that they were moving on the gym. Things were happening and that he was raising some money uh, personally to make it happen. Yeah. And then uh, I spoke with Jesse, and Jesse was there, who is uh, Ruben's brother, who's an he's I told you is running for office, and uh, he went up to me and and we talked and and it was just uh, it was a very blessed day. Uh, yeah, it our, was. Our, our business, Cultura, uh, <clears throat> right? Marvelous yeah, Cultura had a great uh, what they call. Uh, debut. We, yeah. we had a great debut, and our friend showed up. We had fans that yeah, showed went, up, showed up, and stuff. And you know, uh, it's just it, it's it's exciting that you know that people agree and 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 love what we're doing. You know, yeah. as a couple, me and Mark, um, we've come a long way, and you know, it's not about. It, it, it's 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 not about fame or anything no. like that it's about coming together yeah. and you know helping each other out you know we go on here and we promote you know other small businesses you know and that's just what we do you know yeah. it's like we can all eat you know um like you know mama says you know if there's not enough beans just add some more water you know and water. and that's and, and, what this channel yeah, is i'm glad you said that because somebody laughed about it and i never got to that comment you know it was in the beginning but i had said that you know i had said that um if we didn't have enough beans just add water and somebody joked on me but that's some real shit my mom used to do that she used to add water to blow up the beans to make more and that's what g and i do we had a a, a spot we bought g and i bought two spots and we shared it with her aunt that raised her her nieces both of them came out fight to finish um i know we all got we got light i think they're loose babe. but we um shared it we shared it with uh, friends family uh we had fight to finish um aura wear showed up aura wear uh rick and his dad 
and uh, they did real well. And I introduced them to Ruben and Naya and uh, Jesse and all the projects that are going on. Ruben just got the keys to start the project for the building, which he's going to build around it uh, for the kids. We're going to do an art gallery, a recording studio, a stage to perform, a culinary uh, 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 kitchen for teaching yeah. how to cook. Um, there's just a whole bunch of stuff, you know what I mean? And they've invited me to be a part of it, and I invited Ora Ware to meet with them, and that's what happened. We met, we talked, and things are happening. Yeah, and we did that out of our hearts to share what we had. We paid for the booths. We even pitched in for the DJ to be there eight hours. You know, we, we uh, donated. Gina bought some uh, supplies for some of the fans that were on the live. She has your, your gifts, um, right? And no, Rick. Rick bought them. <laughs> no. no. What did you buy for the gloves that somebody was asking? Oh, those, yeah, those Three are. Three gloves, right? Yeah. A but, hat. But Rick has their info. Right. But and I'm their saying, money. I know, but I'm saying them. that you bought them their stuff throughout the show so with the point to it was that she walked around and our fans that were on the live were buying because G was doing that we were sharing the event with everybody yeah and yeah Rick has your information and Rick is going to send them out you know we have some of the gloves here and even though they weren't my gloves from fight to finish that's okay we know because you know I had gloves on my boots <laughs> too but, um, I showed them. But, but I'm going to send them out. I'm going to give you guys some gloves or keychains. They're a little different from these ones. And I'll show you what you guys bought. <laughs> I have them right here. So, you know, G's going to do this for her, her uh, I'm gonna makeup. I'm going to do, yeah, I'm going to do. She's going to make up. I bought face. this because I'm, I'm going to do uh, makeup, a makeup theme of uh, Dia de los Muertos. So, so these are the keychains that. This is uh, why I bought this. Oh, my God, this light. Yeah, well, it's gonna until we change it. But anyways, these are the gloves. So there were three that were ordered, and uh, we're gonna get them out to you. And then we have uh, my fight to finish gloves that we're gonna send out to you. And let me show you what my gloves look like. Okay, I had I I just had to, you know what I mean. So this is our fight to finish keychain glove. It's a little bit different, you know what I mean? Uh, we have them in colors. Of course, I have to have green, right? Got to have the green. So these are the different styles of them. But G bought these from a lady across from us, right, G? Yeah. Okay, so she supported another vendor. I supported uh, a lot of vendors. Lot of she vendors. bought a $40 shirt that when I saw yeah. it, I was like, really, babe? I'm going to print some of those shirts. And uh, you bought one. But this shirt has a story and a meaning to it yeah. this young couple is naming their shirts giving them personal names and they're from the coachella valley and they're Coachello, young Coachello, Coachelona. Coachelona Coachelona is the brand name Coachelona or something like that it's, it's a brand name <laughs> that's the name of the of the brand and yeah. then their merch um it has um their specific name you know the the shirt they're naming have, the shirts mm -hmm. um, a different name a different name so yeah. you'll buy the shirt by name okay yeah. so they're doing something. the shirt that i bought was katrina that's katrina. the name of my so shirt, the, so so the shirts have meaning they're putting meanings like the way g put the names to her lashes yeah they're doing the shirts that, the way. Shirts that way and uh they're a very inspiring young couple she has them on video so um, you guys could check them out and she got their website and we'll put their website up and their Instagram and all that um, but the point and, and and what we're saying what I'm trying to say is that throughout the day we were sharing with everybody and that's the way that we should be as a people uh, a community but as a people because Rick and his father showed that they're not a part of this community right they don't live out here but they drove two hours to support they came from pico rivera and yaya and uh ruben were very impressed and thankful for that so that's what i mean by a people it doesn't matter where we're at yeska came from up north eight hour drive got it got there a little late uh, a lot late after the show but we turned that around and uh we interviewed her niece and we put her product out and, and we that's bought something merch that, from her too. yeah and we bought everybody bought everybody from her, bought from her. that was here visiting my friends came from uh 
Ori Jones. Corona. Corona. Shout to, out to, to Ori Jones. Yeah, and big shout out. Homeboy. Big shout out. I missed yeah. you. You know, I haven't seen this guy. We were 14 years old and we were driving to Long Beach Arena to go see Iron Maiden. So this guy right here, we go back and to see us at this age together, you know, or having them in my home here at the studio, um, it was awesome. He went home with a bottle. We, I gave him a bottle of tequila to go home with and a sarape for his yeah. uh, girl's birthday today. So happy birthday to his daughter. But we had an 18 year old uh, here from Modesto and that's something that we, uh, Gina, show me your shirt, love. She's actually sporting her shirt today. So that's 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 the shirt right there. This Look, is the shirt. That's the shirt. And uh we're, it's a little tight because it's a medium. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah. It's it's um it's how do you say it's contradictual. Um it it, it raised yeah, I, a know, lot of conversation. Okay. It it raised a lot of conversation yesterday, okay, amongst us in the home. And I know it's going to raise a lot of conversation with you guys out there. And it did. I had, I was going through the comments and, you know, um, I was going through the comments. And there's a lot of positive. Thank you, Bam Bam, you know, for the support and stuff. Um, You know, uh, and there was a lot of didn't understand it. I uh, thought it was a promotion or whatever. No, mm -hmm. this is. Uh, something negative that she's turning into something positive yeah, yeah. she's a very quiet uh, very quiet and, and, and a good girl you know and look let me uh, let me break it down real quick because I was I was in the middle of it okay thank you but what it is is that we got a lot of feedback on it okay I was in the market yesterday buying the cake for her to give her a birthday present. You know, it was her birthday and she drove down here and she didn't have to. She was advised to not to come. She was told not to come. What's a waste of time, it's your birthday. What are you gonna do, drive eight hours in a car for? So she made it late and we made up for that, okay? The, the thing to this was I felt buying that cake in the store we were in line rick and i and we thought it was i didn't understand it at first i didn't i didn't see the the lettering the design and rick did and he brought it to my attention and i was in wow and oz that was uh, that wow i was like wow really okay we talked and we had said that maybe god put her in our path tonight on her birthday with her merchandise to look at it as help to correct her if that's what she needed okay if that was her get down if that's what her stilo was if, that, if that's what she liked to do and she's promoting it well, we can't be a part of it that's not what this channel is all about i'm not gonna do it and i felt bad but i still had the cake in my hand and we were in line so i bought it and we came home with the agreement that we would talk to her and maybe we, we looked at it like this. This is how Rick broke it down. And I, and I agreed that maybe God put her in our path so that we can help develop her. You know what I mean? Because we're pretty successful in our lives and, and, and in our turnaround, in our, in our 360s that we've done in our lives, right? Gina, myself, Rick, his dad, you know what I mean? So we looked at it like that. So when we walked in and caught Gina on the live in the middle of explaining the sweatshirt, I stepped in and, and I intervened with the explanation of what it meant because I had realized that it wasn't what we thought. And I had the feeling in the market of not wanting to be a part of it, okay, if it was that bad. But, be, but wanting to be a part of it to change it. You know what I mean? If it's that bad and, and that's what she's doing, I don't want to be a part of that. I, can't, I, I couldn't do it with my own sons. I wouldn't do it with other kids that I knew were, there, were, were doing it. I told them at the gym many times, I can't promote that. I can't have it here. You're going to come here. You can't be a part of that life. You know what I mean? I'm not a part of that life. I'm not a hypocrite. I don't smoke weed. I ain't go to the gym and train and tell kids not to smoke weed. I don't smoke weed. I don't drink, 
I don't do drugs. I live by example. So the example was that you're not going to do it if I'm going to promote you. And when we got in here and we understood it and we saw what it was, and the story is this, people. She doesn't sell it and she doesn't do it, but she grew up in it. She grew up in a trap house like Gina did. And the message to this is, and I got it, and that's why I'm going to stand by it. Whether you, you look at it wrong or see it for what you want to see it and not for what it is, that's your, that's your preference, that's your opinion, and that's your right. But also, well, I want to say that I'm here as my rights to explain it to you and to understand it better. She doesn't do it, and she doesn't promote it that way. What it is, is it's her expression as an artist at 18 years old, growing up in a trap house, seeing it firsthand as a little girl, going through all the struggles and everything else that comes along with living in a trap house. And the queen is her. And what she's saying is that a queen came out of that trap house. Something good came out of something bad. And that's the example that she's setting and the message that she's giving. And, and sometimes as artists, I, I know because I got an art scholarship in school, I drew, and I have a different way of expressing myself. And you see it, I show it off every day. And I get judged just the way I did her in the, in the market. And I felt like that. I felt like one of those people judging the book by its cover, not understanding it. But when I read the first couple of pages of her book and I understood what she was doing, I had nothing but to admire her and to promote it in a good way and explain it just like I explain about the flag that I believe in. It's not taken away from nobody. I'm not taking anything away from Chicanos or Mexican Americans because my grandfather was from Jalisco, born and raised and came here for us to give us better. And I'm proud of being an American of Mexican descent, but I'm also proud of my sister being a Chicana and my tia that was a Pachuca because my mom's sister was a, a Pachuca, you know what I mean? And my grandfather was a Mexican-American. So we got three different titles in my family. So um, that's what that shirt means to me. And uh, if you guys support me and understand me and G, what we're doing on this channel, then we just ask that you help to understand it. And you don't have to. We're not forcing anybody to do anything they don't want to do. You know what I mean? We're just asking to try to understand it in our way. And I saw it that way, just like some of you did. And I got to uh, understand it better that night. Last night was a very good night. A very good day of giving, um, sharing as a people, and then coming home and hanging out to through two, three in the morning. And I can't get into personal issues. I will never do that. But the night went on and I learned even more about family. I, I had a lesson firsthand on family and how family, we all struggle and go through issues and, and, and situations. But at the end of the day, we're family and we get through them and we get through them together. You know what I mean? And so that's my, that's my opinion or my, you know, feelings on this uh, young girl and her, and her t-shirts and her product. She has uh, sweatshirts, a whole line of stuff. And her uncle helped her to do this. You know, and her aunt supported her to bring her down here, and they didn't have to. And the point to all this was that Rick and his dad traveled from Pico to a city, Coachella, to support the raza, the people, our people. And they traveled from up north to the south, down here, to support a community that is eight hours away from them. And uh, we did that for them because they're from up north and they didn't have to pay for their boot or, or anything. Habe. And we showed that even though we're down here, there still are people up there. Yeah, everywhere. You know, everywhere. Everywhere. Chicago, New York. If you're from New everywhere. York, if you're from Green Bay, shit, come out and hang out at my pad. You know what I mean? You know, you know hopefully when I go to we Green Bay. Today. I know. That's why I'm wearing all of If you guys didn't see, I decorated the studio a little bit today for you guys. Because this was another situation. I was going to undress and, you know, we were going to do this, but... This is something I wanted to do to show loyalty. That no matter if we win or lose, you know what I mean? You, you don't jump ship. And if our people are down, 
we don't leave them behind you know what i mean we don't because they're down on their luck or you know they're doing bad or whatever it is it's still support no matter what and we lost and, and to a bad team and it wasn't so much the loss because we were we were 4-0 till up until today now we're 4-1 but it's who we lost to and how we lost that was like disappointing but hey at the end of the day i love my wife i, I love g to death and she got me all g'd up i was i'm a boxing fan look i i got gloves right here where are they at right here I got my gloves right here and I got my gloves right here. But when I met G, she got me watching football a little more, a lot more, and uh, biting my nails and calling her up all pissed off. Last Remember last year, I was all nervous. I had to turn the TV off. I was up. all stressed out. I was out. stressed out. I was like, fuck, how come, they, how come they're playing like this? They always start like this. And I never found myself in, in all these years so into the into the sport like i am boxing you know what i mean you talk boxing to me and you get me to a fight I'll, i I'm rubbed there. off on him but this is all g right here g g i love her i'm her i'm her biggest fan that's what she calls me so this uh yeah this this is her team show them your tattoo babe show them she has it tatted on her arm right here she has a g if you, if you can see that it's an m and m green m and m with a g in there with the green bay g you know so she's she's a fan she's 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 a diehard okay, so cool. we're we're green bay over here but um well, you know right babe yeah so that's yeah, what this I'll was this was too. show show love and support no matter what you know what i mean so um you know got my green what's up with my green hmm? what do you know about this so go ahead babe what do you want to say Okay, well, I just want to say a shout out to Ruben and Yaya and thank you guys from the bottom of our hearts for letting us be part of, you know, the Arte de Barrio. I had a lot of fun. I mean, it was just so interesting. Um, all, all the booths, all the people, you know, that had their booth, they were, you know, super nice, you know, and, and it, I learned a lot, you know, a lot of, of about cbd you know lotion and balm and all that you know uh even sage you know um and that artesanias you know that they do like the dancers there was two girls that you know do the dances um just everything you know like even i was that was one of the booths that one and then um the other one that did you know the the little money bags and then the makeup bags and then the, the the men bags you know for the shaving stuff that booth and then also yeah yeah you know she's very creative uh with her um what do you call that like her her art and her craft she's yeah. very very creative with that and you know she likes you know all that um uh frida stuff you know and 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 it's it's just very interesting i learned a lot you know i really never knew about and i'll do my paint my face and stuff like that but i wasn't i didn't have that knowledge in in that you know so but it was just very interesting and i learned a lot and thank you yaya and ruben for that and i hope we get to do it again the um one, one in november is if, she gonna, yeah. I, yeah, if this one went well, which you looked for for the first time, yeah. this was the first time, no? First time doing it and first time uh, event since COVID. So yeah. it was a test to see. And and her interview went, where I saw her interview they were doing with her. It, it sounded real good and she was positive on another one. And the other one might be in November. We don't know, but she's going to have another one. And from here, it's just going to grow. Because uh, Ruben, Ruben's doing this big community, right, center thing for kids and um, the community. So I know we're going to do another one for him to promote that or to do a grand opening of that. So there's, there's, there's a lines of, there's work set, you know, for, for the future to keep doing what, what they do. You know, they're not stopping. They're, it's a family affair. Uh, Yaya, Ruben, uh, Jesse, the brother. They all are involved in the community. So, 
Well, we got like, what, six minutes left? Yeah. Is that why you're kicking me? <laughs> you're kicking me. I was like, what the, <laughs> what the fuck? Pop, pop. I'm like, hey, okay. I was supposed to kick her on the last video when I told her, I'm going to kick you, right? That means, you know, she wants her time. I'm sorry, okay? I'm done. <laughs> Go ahead. You, got it. you get the okay, next Okay, so. Um, oh, pumpkins. I just want to, no, I just want to say thank you, everybody, you know, that was in the live uh, yesterday. Uh, thank you guys for the support and you know always being there and I never announced that I'm gonna go live and as soon as I go live I can tell that a lot of people you know have their notification bell because then every, they, I see one and then I see 10 and then I see 20 and then you know and thank you guys thank you guys for that even thank you to even the, the haters get notified their subscribers because then they jump in and they start doing their thing you know oh, but, okay all right I, I thought you said that real quick give me one minute <laughs> just one minute okay the haters i know we're not gonna we said we wouldn't give them their time and all that but um i i, I want to say you know i'm gonna I, i'm gonna keep an eye out on you and, and, and it's gonna come a day where we're gonna have a talk we really are not on this show and everything but you know what I mean because you go out of you go out really out of your way to insult my wife you know what I mean on some stupid ass shit and then you go on and you want to talk about the products that we were promoting we were showing products from other people there that have the 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 guts and the balls to go out and do what they do and yet you sit at home behind the keyboard typing in promoting some bad shit or some worthless stuff and these were some old ladies that were out there with their crafts and some people who really believe in their culture and they were expressing themselves and you went ahead and knocked them one thing is to talk about me like i've always said you know you can do that and, I'll, and we'll deal with it but when you talk about my mom you talk about my son you talk about my wife and now you're going into other people that have nothing to do with this channel then i got to address it like that you know what i mean yeah, my gym is in Thermal on the corner of Airport and Boulevard. Everybody knows that. I'm there every single day, you know what I mean? So I've invited a lot of people there, and I'll invite you. It's free. You don't have to go online, and you don't have to waste you know, uh, um, time doing all that. Just go on down, and we could talk about it, dance about it, sit about it, whatever you want to do about it. You know what and I mean? He's a great dancer. But, 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 and I dance real good. But... It's, it needs to, you know what I mean? It needs to stop. We got a lot of monitors out there watching you. Yeah. And they're taking care of it for us. But you're pissing a lot of people off on the real. This isn't that channel. You're insulting some really nice ladies. Those were some nice people there yesterday when you went on there. And you said what you said about their crafts and their work. So, you, you know what I mean? You're, you're, you're pushing buttons. But it's okay. I know how to push back seriously on the real so you just remember that when you're on there next and you see this live or this video I'm talking to you okay so um we'll be back we'll oh be don't back. before we go we no go we'll minutes. be back with another video so okay guys... I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna come back on we're gonna come back on talk about these okay yeah because <laughs> we got some things going on yeah we got something going on for you guys so until the next video, if until the next video, if you guys, um, you know, um, well, I'm pretty sure you guys will see it, but we got, we got, we got two minutes. I know we do, okay, let it go but if you don't uh, see the next oh, video, okay, you guys minutes. have a blessed night. Okay, Look, two minutes. Two minutes. I got. This is a mask that Autowear came out with, and what this formation is, this formation is no fear these are the formation of the eight stars that are on the flag the american or mexican descent and what these this is represents is a formation that the jetter fly the jetter uh jet the fighter jets fighter jets fly over and they're in that formation it's called a wedge formation and that means no fear so when the soldiers are down on the bottom and they see their fighter jets the f-22s okay and the 35s flying over in this formation they know what's going on they know what's going to happen and there's no fear because they're here and they're fighting into battle they're flying into battle they're fighting they're flying to defend our country and that's why he put that on the flag that way so that's what you see on the flag the eight states that used to be mexico 
and they're now flying in formation of no fear like the American fighters do for our country. I just had to share that with you in my last two minutes. That's it. We're done. <laughs> okay, guys. So, see you guys in the next video. We got a surprise for you guys. It's a contest. So, stay tuned. Last night.